instructions at the top right now. Alexei Yagudin is the leader, but here is the 22-year-old from Michigan, Ryan Yonke, who finished fifth at the U.S. National Championships last season. This is his first appearance in the Grand Prix. Music take five by Dave Lubeck. here, the triple to what, and then the double toe loop. though he moved out to Colorado Springs to train with his coach Diana Rone. Very involved with church activities, helps out with the special needs ministry for the disabled and also very interested in modern dance. Competes in that as well. Triple flip right foot will pick in vaulting up into the air two foot landing there so he will take a deduction for that with those two foot landings or touchdowns as we say sometimes the judges catch it sometimes they don't performance for him a nice clean simple approach to skating his dance background certainly presenting itself here in the short program well much like jenny kirk who will make her senior international debut later in the show he told us his biggest challenge getting his nerves under control i think he did that ryan young not even out of breath at this point he has to be 22 years of age huh First set of marks now for required elements. So you can see some strong contrast with someone like Yagudin. He's seeing marks as low as 4.4 for required elements. And now you would expect the presentation marks to be higher, and they are 4.8 up to 5.5. Does have a nice look to his skating, and he needs to just grow upon that. But a good start for him here. Frank. Solid start for Ryan Yonke. He is down in seventh place at the moment, though. And on the ice, first, an American, the 22-year-old, originally from Gross Point Farms, Michigan. He lives and trains in Colorado Springs now. Here is Ryan Yonke making his Grand Prix debut. We saw him place fifth at the last U.S. Nationals. collection of Indian music, including Shake by Ravi Shankar, the sitar player. He does not have a quad planned in this performance, however. He will open up with a triple axel, and that was kind of sloppy to start that way. Not a good landing. We'll hope to improve the landings on jumps from here on in. Ryan is 
in ninth place after this short program, but he skated pretty well in the short. The next most difficult jump before the triple, triple axel is the triple lutz there, pitching forward, but able to get off a double toe loop. Triple flip. Young guy who is also very involved with modern dance, competes in that when he's away from the ice. Was going to school, but put his formal education on hold. Very involved, he says, with his church and helping out special needs ministry for the disabled. Teaches Sunday school. Difficult triple sow cow. He wants a triple loop right after that. And he did complete it, however, he didn't get around. In other words, it was a little cheat to the landing. He got about two and three quarters of a rotation on the second jump. Better that than a fall. There's a dispute over what this jump is actually called. Nice triple loop there. Why the dispute? Well, years ago it was called the triple toe walling. And it's actually a jump that takes off at exactly the same edge with the same foot picking in. performance for him his goal was to or is to make his triple axle consistent so he's definitely moving in that direction yeah he suffered from some tendonitis in his right knee but he's battled that battled through nerves and all he wanted to do is make a good impression on the judges here in paris ryan yankee now alongside diana ronane his first and only coach for 13 years seems to be becoming more and more rare in skating to stay with a coach that long here's the first set of marks for technical merit, 4.6 up to 5.3, wide range. And you can hear the boos and the cat calls from the crowd here. They thought they would be higher. And now presentation marks 4.9, another low one there, but all the way up to 5.7. So Lion Yankee of the U.S. gets the men's free skate underway. 